What's happening guys? Matthew Ogus, legendsofaesthetics.com here with you at the gym and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about triceps today. One, if you could shape the triceps and two, how you should be doing triceps pushdowns. And doing triceps pushdowns with a supinated grip, basically with your hands up, is there any merit to doing them? We'll talk about that in this video right now. You're wondering why is my shirt off? It's usually not, and I'm fat as fuck. Well, the reason my shirt's off is because I'm actually gonna demonstrate to you why I think that there's really no point in doing supinated, basically palms up, pushdowns, tricep pushdowns. Now, first of all, let's talk about shaping the triceps. Can you shape any muscle? Can I shape my glutes? Can I shape my abs? A lot of people will tell you yes. Generally, people that are trying to sell you something or B, they might not really understand how the body works. Basically, your muscle builds and your muscle grows off of this genetic blueprint that's pretty much wired at birth. So your DNA basically has the blueprint for how your muscle is gonna grow, how it's gonna look, and you build the muscle or stimulate the muscle growth through the three principles of mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress. So guys, let's see what doing pushdowns with a supinated grip like this how that activates my triceps. Take a good look at what it looks like, okay, right now. Just try your best to look at that tricep and see what it's doing here. First of all, you have to understand that the, uh, the job of the triceps is to extend the elbow, extend that arm. I'm sure you've been told by somebody out there that by doing pushdowns like this, you're targeting the back of your tricep, the back of your arm, this right here, but in reality, the activation, the use of the long head of the tricep is dependent on the joint angle right here. So I'm using more and more of my long head the higher my elbow is like this. This position is best for if I'm trying to hit that long head. This position is the least amount of activation for that long head. Automatically, they're wrong by telling you that this is a great long head tricep exercise. In fact, you're better off doing something like this for your long head your triceps, the back of your arms. Okay guys, you saw what doing this does to the tricep. You see that it looks this such way. I'm gonna do something right now, guys. I just pronated my hand. Supinate, pronate, supinate, pronate. Do you notice any difference in my tricep? There's no difference whatsoever in how my tricep is used. There's no difference in its function right here. Its job is to extend this elbow. So no matter if my hands are like this or like this, it looks the same. It's being used exactly the same. What do you get by doing this? You're not able to handle as much weight. You might as well have a comfortable grip on an easy bar or something like that with the over grip, uh, pronated grip, so you can handle more weight, hit that tricep right here, the lateral head, much better. Let's see what that looks like by using an over grip. It looks exactly the same. And guess what, guys? This is like two times easier. I can handle much more weight using an over grip, a pronated grip, than a supinated grip. Now why is that though, you know? When it comes to your bicep, supination and pronation has a gigantic effect, right? See, that's simply not the case when it comes to the tricep though, guys. You have to understand that supination or pronation of the hand is gonna affect the tricep in no way. Therefore, you might as well use the strongest position possible, the most comfortable position possible in terms of your hands. An over grip with a comfortable bar, probably an easy bar, so you can handle the most amount of weight possible. I haven't plugged anyone in a really long time, so I'm gonna plug uh, Sunseat Sebastian of Sebastian Fitness Solutions, I believe. Uh, he made a, he ma he's been making some really good videos, to be honest. The reason I'm recommending him is because he, he has a video where I think he does a much better job explaining why the hand position, the supination pronation really doesn't do anything for the triceps. That's it, guys. Matthew Ogus, legendsofaesthetics.com. Checking out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.